Hey, welcome back guys to Life is Strange 2, episode 3. So in the last episode, the cops came to Grandma and Grandad's house and we had to run out the back door and then Stephen got hit by a police car. But we pretended that he's okay. So <laughs> who knows about Stephen? Will we ever even see him again? But now, I believe the last thing we saw was we were on a train going maybe south. So it'd be interesting to see where we've ended up. And as always, if you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. It's free and it shows me some love. And let me know in the comment section below what other type of games you want to see me play. Anyway, let's jump in to the video. Once upon a time, in a while wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day hunters took their dad away forever. So now the brothers were alone and they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, so they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them, but the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and got badly hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf. Right, so is this it's back in his old house? Oh, here comes Daniel. Oh, no way, you little shit. 
Daniel, <laughs> get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so in Seattle. It's time to beat up Daniel. Of course. Like, I want to play fucking hide and seek. It's not outside. Hmm. Search downstairs. Oh, sound like he was in here. Whoa, hold on. <gasps> Let go. Stop it, Judith. I told you to stay out of my room. Ow, that hurt. Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it. <gasps> Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. <laughs> Watch out, oh. man. You started it, dickhead. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it. Enough. Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now. Dad. I told him not to come so into my room. And, he never listens. He hit me and broke the trophy. He's lying. He always does that when he gets busted. Little shit. Enough. You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? <laughs> this is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid. <laughs> it's bullshit. Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? Listen, Sean, I can't do this on my own. I, I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up, you need space, more freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you got to take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that, and I do look out for him, I swear, but he's a little brat. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super, bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you, both of you. Okay, get back to work. I really like his dad. I think he's such a cool character. Senor Diaz. Okay, so... Make peace with Daniel is our objective.
That's the knock. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! <laughs> I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I don't on, hear anything! Dude. La la la! Creepy. Ugh. Oh! You kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? We wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. <sighs> Leave me alone! Okay, let's have a look at the robot toy. Yeah. Haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. <laughs> no battery. Duh. Why are you still here? And don't touch my stuff. Oh, I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> Anything else here? No. We got the spaceship. Hey. That's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly you're Mr. Careful. Mm. Okay, if I sit down. So, when did you get this? Last month, Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself, since we're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're gonna be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd give me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean! This is so cool! I'll keep it forever and ever. Oh, there's the watch. So we're back in the present time. Is that that dog from Cassidy?
<sighs> yeah, put your pants on. Hey, bad head. Had a good sleep? Oh, hi, uh, yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> okay, I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Swinging your titties about. California. About time they got out of the snow. Breakfast time. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. I don't know what's inside. I like that movie. Most of them the are into fancy And fast food junk. Coffee time, Sean. Eh, grass, I'ma sit your ass down. Pour and drink. Let's do that. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was the coffee brewer. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because vision shine. They watching us now. <laughs> it would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So, then, where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Cush get. Not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. It's legal in Washington. And it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere. Soon, anyway. Legal but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom! I don't know. Things have to change. Oh, um... Did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. Okay, so... I keep thinking you're Dutch. <laughs> because we... Where from again? Sweet where? Man. You wouldn't hear about it. I guess down here? Better check on Dan. Yeah. Oh. So it's not down there. What the hell? Definitely not down here. Where's the exit? Oh, this is better. Yep, lakeside. <laughs> nice little run. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. <laughs> Holy shit, that was dope. What's up, guys? Morning target practice. Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja. Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey, 
Seriously. I've never seen anyone throw like that. <laughs> wow. Finn trained you well. Six bull sized dude. Yeah. I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, <laughs> right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean, idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little Ooh. demo? It was my turn. <clears throat> Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Let's see my blade skills. Right. Where the hell... Oh, okay, that makes things. No. Oh, Sean. Damn. Hold your right arm. More like this. Better line. Better aim. Won't really help. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, we go again. Let's see, can I do it? <laughs> what? On, sweetie, one more time. I know you can do it. Right, if I do this, I expect you, you said, to John, give this video a that's like. A secret. If it doesn't, I don't mind if you want to write in the comment section that I am awful at throwing blades. Is it, it's that kid in me. <laughs> oh, fuck that! <laughs> Miss, see, I rule. <laughs> okay, Sorry, that didn't count. <laughs> you're not a ninja, but you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah, what would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet. Uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? Daniel, I can't believe you cheated. What? What do you mean? Come on. Don't play dumb. You're showing off in front of Finn. You want him to find out? Finn is cool. He wouldn't tell anybody. You don't? Know that. You're gonna get busted, Inanu. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that! I'm not a kid anymore! Daniel, don't- Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now! Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't grab me! Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. We'd rather hang out with their new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job. Okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Port the Lowe's. Remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom. Since we have her letter now.
We already had this conversation. Sorry, Danny, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is, and we can't risk getting caught or looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. She's That's dead why to us. We're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair. But you're my brother. My responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know. I'm not going to be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh oh. Big joke. Hey, you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh. Nah. I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, Finn, Finn, Finn. Hey. Daniel, remember what I said. Low profile. Yeah. Okay. We're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, Inano. Okay, okay. Inano. Wish we could check on Chris. Just see if he's okay. We will, Daniel, when we're yeah. safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hide and seek last night. Especially in the dark. That was cool. Thought Penny might hide forever. Yeah, but we said the trees were off limits. Cheater. Haha. <laughs> Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to get me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. Sit your booty down. <laughs> Why so serious? Ah. Uh. Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, night, just right? give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jumps. You're not off. listening to anything I say. So I'm cutting it. Are you? Yeah. What? Hey, yes, I am. Yeah, me too. The party. Oh, shit. Ooh, too, too much sex, guys. Too much sex. Shut up. <laughs> I was Two talking. fees in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle story. Oh, it was so high back. last night. Hey, Sean Dallas. Ooh. Nah, I love just you, keeping an eye out, with that, you know? Though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> big brother watching. Hey, who's the next That's last cute. year here on test? Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for shooting in that even? So, Wrong. how do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up yeah, here? <laughs> with us misfits. I actually feel free. It's been a long time. Thanks to you. I hope so. Finn and me had a bet how long you would last. Okay. Don't hurt me. I lost. Thanks. I'm glad you did. You can't get rid of me yet. Hey, I'm going to shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. 
speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory of Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. Bigfoot. Think about it. Big Joe, Bigfoot. Whoa, <laughs> you might be on to something. They both smell. <laughs> Sticky, Big Joe. <laughs> Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. Yep. Nobody else saw. It's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Ooh, this is the far, I see. Life is Strange 2, Episode 3, Wastelands. Me too. Let's try to go to bed early to make it okay? Yes. Please. And no wheat. Oh, man. Who's ready for another great day in the office? Shut up. Ooh, somebody doesn't want to be employed in the bus. I'm so fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Uh, let's just do nothing. Sir, yes sir. Come on, Sean. We're gonna be late. Right. He does have a big assault rifle on his back. <laughs> it's probably best not to do anything. Listen up, I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Girls gotta sit in their asses while the males are outside? Yeah, right on. Like I wanna go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you wanna trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside! Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work in the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah. You heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Ooh, what about? Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know, we really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, no ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm gonna go check on him then. How old is he anyway? Oh, uh, nine. 
He's nine years old. Jeez. Nine years old. Tough age. Got to keep a close eye on him. Yeah, not an easy thing to do out here. I know. Ain't no place for children. That's why I keep mine in New York. Isn't that hard? Of course it is. But it won't be forever. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. We got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey, you okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So get on it. All right, we good? Yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, you sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. Shh. Mira almost kicked us out because of your big mouth. What part of Lilo don't you get? You shouldn't even be here. Sure. I bet you wish I wasn't here. Oh, stop. I can tell. You know exactly what I meant. Well, I feel you, Daniel. Sometimes I get stir crazy in here, too. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Shit. Fuck. I hate these scissors. <sighs> How the bloody... Yes. Ow. Going too fast. Okay, I get it, I get it. Time, dude. I never thought I'd be cutting weed <laughs> in, a, in a video game. Look at all these bugs. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa, that's a lot. Yep, had to work overnight all the time. <coughs> 15 hours straight once. Yeah, trying to forget. I should clean my scissors. They're a mess. <laughs> Whoa, we are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. Clean scissors, yeah. Okay, got it. I'm gonna be an expert uh, weed this. picker. This game sounds bad, man. What is it? You got work to do. Mind your own business. Okay. Whatever, Mr. Grumpy. Jeez. It's called Mustard Party, okay? What? Oh. You're playing Mustard Party? Jeez. That's so cool. I used to be on the scoreboard. Cool. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> Joseph. Are you not on the scoreboard? Shut <sighs> up. You got work to do. How long am I doing this for? <laughs> okay, come on. Ouch! Shit. Ooh. You okay, sweetie? 
dude, I told you a thousand times. Focus. Trim the plant, not your hand. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, Sean. Okay, hmm. hmm. so. Okay, looks like I am going to need. Mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Oh, okay, just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Exactly. We don't have any homework. Or teachers. Sure. Just Marilyn Big Joe. Whatever. Ugh, quiet! Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. <coughs> Right. So I've done seven so far. But for real though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Cassidy, we get it over and over. You don't want to be here. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. What's this? Hey, how about visiting Uranus? That's very clever, Big Joe. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. You guys are all the same. Cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. This is no. my life. Come here, ah, shit. It's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa. Damn. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh. Don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wow, wow. <laughs> Get off my crack, Hannah. <sighs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop. You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, we ain't got no more job here. I'm just over this place. Then go! Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus, we're off the bus. Hey, she just needs freedom, dude. Exactly. Thank you, darling. Oh, <laughs> Cassidy, stop acting like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. Problem, you're, you're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. Been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay?
Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. You gotta be careful with those scissors. They're sharp as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. It ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? <laughs> Not with Emo Daniel acting like a brat. It gets old, man. At least Hannah and Kaz were there to provide the entertainment. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job. Cash. Friends. Safety. Sean. Everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah, he steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That sucks. <laughs> what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling. Checking out new things. Yeah, never gets old. Well, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. But you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. It will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh. Yeah. I gotta move those water tins for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, huh? Finally. Glad I can help. Right, water tanks. So... Where so, would they Anna, be? How long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because of health. Almost no done. Money. Nobody. Pitch north, worked on farms. Need two bell, more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. Beta. That'd be cool. That I'm on it. I almost killed that fuck. But I so came back to Humboldt to the fish. Yeah. Got this sweet I don't miss Mary. doing the dishes. Then why are we doing...
that's it. Finally. You need a hand with your own chores? That'd be awesome. Yes, I, I need help do. moving the water tanks to the shower and kitchen. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank so we can take on those barrels. <sighs> Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. Okay, I'll take it to the kitchen first. Because I'm not sure where the shower is. <laughs> I think I made some good trims today. Oh. I'm talking with a... Oh. Let's carry that one to the shower. Okay, so where is the shower? Penny's all oh. over the place. Than He'll go anywhere. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. This no looks home, like a shower. Get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Yeah. Up. We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green. Boom. That was easy. Don't wait for you near the lake, dude. Don't forget me. I won't. See you there. Okay. Meet down near the lake for his train. Okay, let's just go down to the lake. Ooh, squirrel. Let's see if I can chase it. Man. Sherman sucks. I like Hannah, though. Ooh. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. She's honest and tough, like a warrior. Yeah, maybe too honest sometimes. I thought that was a good thing. Not when she just likes to fuck with people. Well, she's cool to me. Sorry. Okay, Sweet. that's cheating. But can you do it without your power? Well, you never bothered to teach me, so I found my own technique. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. <laughs> Let's start with our team, How. T.S. Lobos. Come on. Woo! We don't have time for that. So, Ooh. let's go. I'm ready. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Okay, so... The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. <laughs> Don't drop on <Hey>. my head. <laughs> Your face! Come on. I wasn't gonna drop it on you. 
very funny, man. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, we got some stones. Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Pretty cool. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. I told you I will. Mushrooms. Bet it's different here in the summer. Hmm. Let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. Waiting. Or maybe you... What the? <laughs> Aw, that's not hard. Wow, okay. Pick a rock. Any rock. Okay. And... Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay. You're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit, that was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? That was some next level shit, Daniel. I can do anything now. Hey, don't go crazy. This is still a secret. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well. It's my power, not yours. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Don't say that. You know it's always you and me, and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. You can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go, and we have to go together, right? I know it sucks, but you have to grow up now. What's he doing? Daniel, stop it! Stop it, Daniel! That is a big ass no! tree. I'm 
not a kid anymore. Y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Hey, why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. That was cool, Cassidy. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take <laughs> ass, cash, or grass. <clears throat> hint, hint. John. Take the puff and pass it to your friend. Um, sure. I'll take a hit. Daniel, no fucking way. <laughs> How come you can, but I can't? Because I said so. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Gonna sleep act. tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, you see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. But who's... Black flag. It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and Black Flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. We saw that train from afar yeah. and straight at oh. it. Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Sorry about your pup, Hannah. Fuck it. That's life. Hmm. Or death. Yin and yang, right? Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, Hans. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst mm. memory. Fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Benny? Cool. Bust out the violins. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend, Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I love him. He gave me this quote. Said he never gave his trust to no one before. 
We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared a few miles north from here in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, mm. and zoomed. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Jesus Christ. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I'm gonna hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. <laughs> and we do worse. Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true yeah. believer. Yeah. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. It's a small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. I wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son, maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. That your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. Mm. You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Big years. Mm. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else. <laughs> Whoa, no, no way, man. I'm too wasted. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down, like Noah and Lila from Seattle. And there's our dog, Mushroom, who was killed by a puma, so we had to bury her. Then I lost Chris because we had to run away again. He got hit by a car. I don't even know if he's all right. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my dad. Jesus, little man. That's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you I'd win. You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on. Bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just got to focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Want to know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand. 
sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just chill and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not going to settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day, too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Yeah, good. Bed with Daniel. <sighs> yep. I'm ready to crash, too. Let's go. What? No, you're gonna miss our makeover skill. I'll fall asleep, and then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, night. Sweet night. Games, See you in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Hey, can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah. It kind of bummed me out when you said that you weren't a kid anymore. I mean, I know you're not, but I'm going to miss it. I can't help it, Sean. Things are so different now. I miss my friends, my room, my play box, everything. It all seems so far away now. I know I'm not always nice with you, but things aren't nice anymore. I know. But don't let this change who you are. I just wish I could have a normal life again and stop being so angry all the time. Hey, I'm sorry about your bad memory. Thanks. Don't worry. You'll make new memories. New friends, starting now. You and Finn are Best buddies. And you like Hannah, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I just miss them all. Noah, Lila, Mushroom, and even Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it, but it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah, you're too big for it. I am, but I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just don't tell the others, okay? Promise. All right, get comfy. Where were we? Oh. Yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends. But the little wolf 
wasn't so sure about the UPAC. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on. But he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the wolf brothers from each other. Ever. Damn. I thought he was going to drive off, be one of those guys, make me run after him. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't have to do that. Ooh, it looks like they're probably playing some copyright music right now because it's all silent. So let's guess what type of music they were playing. I'm thinking some sort of upbeat, nice type of song, a little bit indie. <laughs> So we are going back to the farm and I'm guessing we're going to be trimming. Actually, no, I don't think we will be trimming. There's got to be something change. I can't be sat trimming again. It looks like we are here. Yep. The greenhouse. Look at all those plants. What is going on here? I guess there's still music being played, so you're not missing anyone talking, even though you can hear their lips, <laughs> you can see their lips moving. It's the big boss man from New York. It's the big Romanian having a little seat. Okay, this is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or, or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's her horse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. Seriously, we have to save every dime, so... Hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> they will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah, like your beach house in Costa Rica? Does sound cool, beach house in Costa Rica. 
<laughs> okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and uh, you. Jake, Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know. But we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay. We'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Harold. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, we saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let Shh. him go! I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You want to frisk him? Look at him. He's just following his big brother. Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean. You and your brother are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir. Quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way. Now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Whoa. Let me go! Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it. It's mine. <laughs> Ow! What the... Uh. Okay, okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Damn. Daniel messed up then. What was he doing? Messing about. Well, that's it. Believe it or not, I told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn, I would be scared shitless. I am. 
It's all going so fast, I'm fucking lost sometimes. It's okay, Sean. I know what I'm doing. Man. So, Sean, maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Nada. Zero. Nothing. Trust me. I tried. Really? When? Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself, seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise. You can trust us. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. It's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him, too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. We still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Ah, uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh, no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. <laughs> so should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. We can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but what if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't know what can happen. I'm not scared of cops. I can stop them anytime I want. Jeez, Daniel. It's not... At least 
This will all be behind us once we reach Porto Lobos. Who cares about Porto Lobos? We'll talk later. Shit. Are we really getting kicked out of this place? We don't have enough money to go down to Mexico. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Hey. Why so sad, little man? Uh, I miss... I miss my play box. Okay. Have a drink with Finn. Talk to Cassidy about the tattoos. What are play box? Like robot stuff? Play. So we need to have a drink. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. So... What are you going to do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm going to do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. Took off. <laughs> that was it, man. No more family, just me. Always trying to find a new daddy or new bros. Yeah. Stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah. You're starting all over. And now, you just got to take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel, right? I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. No, it's not. You just got to trust your gut, Sean. Life will follow. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be all right, laddie. Do you uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit after all this. You deserve a lot of hope for life. Seriously. How are you two going to get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way. Hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, John. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. <laughs> but you don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. Let's I do it. Let you in on this, if I had any doubt. Are you positive we can do this without getting busted? Absolutely. Candy from a baby. Mm. Okay. Fuck it. We're in. Yes, fucking A. You are the man. <laughs> I knew you and me were the same. I felt it from the start. I also thought it'd be cool if you and Daniel stayed with us after we're done. Really? You'd be cool with that? Only if you are. No pressure. I'm really glad we met, Sean. I feel like we have a Strong connection. <laughs> That's me. I'm always getting obsessed over people I meet. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I um, feel like that. No offense. No stress, man. If you don't ask, you don't know. But really, I I do like you too. Um, you know, it's just I. <laughs> hey, I said, we're cool. Don't sweat. Do what you want to do, John. You don't have to know everything. You'll figure all this shit out. Maybe if you come with us. Maybe. And uh, thanks for sharing. That's what it's all about. <sighs> Sorry. I'm such a noob. I, I didn't want to freak out. Ah, don't worry, man. You've already changed so much since you got here. Thanks. So, uh, how do we work this out tonight? It's early, so just go party. Hug everybody goodbye. And talk to Daniel. Come get me when you're ready. Cool? Cool. Okay, so we need to find... Time to make these bastards pay for three weeks of shitting on me and Daniel. I've got Daniel and Finn. Nothing can hurt us. I just gotta stay focused. Hey, everything okay? Diaz, my favorite straight A student. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting or... Don't worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sister. What's going on? Don't worry about that. Secret girl talk. I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? Yeah. At least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But if they want more cash, then Finn likes to get his weed on. So, leave by yourself. You know what you're doing. Just take off and hook up with them later. Easier than it sounds. It's not cool being a gal by yourself on the road. I hear you. I mean, I can take care of myself, but unlike you, I don't have a psychic bodyguard. <laughs> Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. One thing I learned traveling is how small the world is. We already met twice. Why not more? Even if we don't, we'll be fucking cool memories in each other's mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is a tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> Sounds cool, but tomorrow I'll totally regret it. What? Are you doubting my drawing skills? <laughs> no way. I'm just not into the needle action. <laughs> oh, it doesn't hurt, you big baby. Not that much. Come on! Nah, I'm not feeling it, really. I mean, this is for life and all. I can't do it on the whim, you know? It's okay. I'll just need to find another victim for the night. You think Daniel would enjoy a tramp stamp? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, I get that you don't want a tattoo. To each his own. I like your clean city boy look. Don't lose it, Sean. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks. I mean it, dumbass. Hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now.
Come with me. Sorry, Cass. I'm not ready. Too unstable right now. Jacob? Am I too much you of a wuss? Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, yeah? Over here. What's up? Hey, Sean. I'm sorry about earlier. Dude, I... I'm sorry too. Didn't mean to flip out. Now listen, Finn told me more about that safe. Said it'd be easy peasy. I think we could use that cash. It would save our ass for our trip. I know. So, do you want to do it or what? Thinking about it, but it's up to you, Danny. Me? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. We can eat anything. Stay in hotels, poop indoors. <laughs> so, <laughs> are we gonna do it? Huh? Yes. We are now. But seriously, don't do anything unless I say so. If something happens, run away. Oh, man. Nothing's gonna happen. I mean it. Don't even think. Run. Jeez. Okay. I'll run. Promise. That's what I want to hear. Love you, brother. Me too. So, are we going? Bitch, you better be asleep, man. Oh, he's down for the night. Fuck him. Maybe we could take some of this cool stuff, too. No fucking way, Daniel. That house is a death trap. Big Joe probably has an arsenal. The whole place is probably booby trapped. That's not our mission. Oh, man. The gate is locked. You just gotta get inside and get some wheels. No way I'll break that. Guys, this one's on you. What the hell are we doing here? <laughs> Daniel, maybe you can... Uh, you better step back. Try to keep it quiet. If you can't, Big Joe might wake up. Oh. I got the power. Oh, fucking shit. Wow. <laughs> Let's bail. Whoa. To do this? At least no one will be watching us now. Quiet, Sean. Listen, see anything? Mm. Oh, thank God. Okay, troops, then we're invisible now. No lights, no sound, no nothing. Cool? <sighs> yeah. I'll try that truck. Cool. What do you want me to do, Finn? Just watch Big Joe's house to see if anybody pops out. You good? Okay. So, uh, check the vehicles. Figures. Check the other door now. Guys, that truck is sealed. No movement in the...
one door left to check. And it's the other side. Hmm. Check it out. So, all the doors are unlocked, but we just gotta get into one car. I, I think I can get that truck started. What? How? Talk. My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck. Just in case. I thought I was the shit. You are the fucking man, man. Plus, we could, uh, mess with all the other cars. So Big Joe can't follow us. You're starting to scare me. You're too good at this. So, what are we supposed to do? We can... Look for things to use. Anything destructive. I feel that. We can break the windows and shit. Just keep quiet. So, let's open the hood. I can wreck that engine, if I can open the hood. Daniel, can you open that hood quietly? Let me see. Oh, crap! Shh. Quiet. Sorry. No, no. I asked you. Fuck. Now let's be quick, guys. Need to find something to slash these. So, uh, how much money is in the safe? Enough for everybody, little man. I mean, little rich man. That's so dope. Yeah, and in no time, like I said. Okay. So, let's punch the tire. Damn. These treads are like bricks. Way too strong to pop. All we gotta do is get this open. So? Find anything? Open up, you piece of... Yes. Sorry, Big Joe. <laughs> the truck is fucked. Not gonna follow us now, motherfucker. What have we got in here? Anything that we can take? Nothing over here, man. Sean, I know these trees are gorgeous, but please speed up. I wonder why he keeps that car here. Probably to get down to Arcata and pick up some girls. There she blows. 
Haha. <laughs> need... What is the delay? Damn. That was fun. This is taking too long. Daniel, can you open it? Yep. Uh, Sean? Oh, fuck it. Let's rush! Oh, oh, dog, 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 fuck, fuck. You got it, sweetie. Think fast, Sean. Yes, you did it! Let's go! Fuck yeah. Drive! You rock, Sean! Talk about an adrenaline rush. Shit, that was close. You okay, Daniel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty damn easy. Do this. They will when they see the money. Trust me. Let's move. And I was looking for this for a long time. Really? Fucking yeah. Meryl can be cool, but he's still just a fucking crook. He doesn't give a rat's ass about anything but himself. Fuck my wife. You're my boss. Daniel Rigg from Kills. See that surveillance camera? I'm told. I got. So that's done. Ew. This place is creepy at me. Come on. Pot isn't scary. Lights out. See? Told ya. We got a plan. Just stick it to the man. We're not done yet. Keep it real, Sean. You right. Not anymore. It's blocked on the other side. We gotta find a way to get that car off. Yeah, that was good. We sneak in, Daniel opens the safe, we grab the money, then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? Well, well, well. Come on in. Yep, they're all here. You were right. God damn, you little assholes had to fuck with my trucks. 
you to watch those punks. I'll take care of these ones. All right, move your asses over there. Uh, Meryl, now. Uh, boss, I know this looks bad, but stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punk's work where nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? No, no. It's not about you. I thought you were different. Smart. But you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. <laughs> what now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your heads. Don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We, we could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now. Come on, Daniel. Sort him out. Wait, let me explain. Oh yeah? Explain this. Ah! <clears throat> Don't insult me by acting like you got a reason to steal. Don't! For the last time, get on your fucking knees. Come on, Daniel. Meryl? No. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't move. He can't do this. Don't ah! fucking move. <laughs> it's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore. Shut up. Come on. Gonna do it. Daniel's power. Yes. Come on, Daniel. Do it! Get out! Go out, son of a bitch! Ah, oh, come on. Wait! Oh, stop! Damn. So what happened? Did he... Have we got the money? <laughs> There's the dollar. He completely wrecked it.
and it's all the money. Where's Sean and Daniel? And did Daniel got shot, didn't he? There's some blood. That's Sean. Ouch. Is that glass in the eye? Did he have glass in his eye? Damn. What a cliffhanger. I don't even know what to say about that. That was episode three, Wastelands. So if you enjoyed that episode, make sure that you have subscribed and are ready to watch the next episode, which hopefully will be up on the channel by the time you finish this video. I'll be catching you in the next episode.